In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Station Offset plugin for QGIS. With QGIS open and a new project started, first we need to install the plugin. Click Plugins in the menu bar. Click Manage and Install Plugins. To be able to see the Station Offset plugin, we will need to turn on the option to download experimental plugins. Click the Settings button in the Plugins window. Check the box for Show Also Experimental Plugin. Now you should be able to see the plugin when you search for it with the rest of the available plugins. Click the All button in the Plugins window. In the Search field, type Station Offset. Click Install Experimental Plugin. Close the Plugin window by clicking the Close button. The tool is available in the Processing Toolbox. If the Processing Toolbox is not already open in your application, click the Processing dropdown in the menu bar. Select and click Toolbox. The Processing Toolbox should pop up. You will see the Tailwater Limited tool appear in the toolbox. Now import a point file containing the survey data that is to be processed. Click Layer in the menu bar. Navigate to Add Layer. Select Add Delimited Text Layer. Navigate to the file location. In this case, we are using a CSV file that is in PNEZD format or point number, northing, easting, elevation, and description. Set the fields appropriately in the geometry definition space and make sure the projection is correct in the data source manager window. Click add to import the data. Click close to close the data source manager window. To define the alignments that we are projecting the points to, we will create a shape file. Click layer in the menu bar, select create layer, select new shape file layer. Click the ellipsis in the top right corner of the new shape file layer window. Navigate to where you want to save the shapefile. Click the Geometry Type drop-down menu and select Line String. Select the appropriate projection for the shapefile. This should match the same definition that was used for the point file and the project coordinate system. Add a new field to the shapefile's attributes. Type Name in the Name box. Adjust the length of the field. This field will be used to distinguish between multiple lines or alignments. Click Add to Fields list. Click OK. To close the window and create the shapefile, open an edit session on the shapefile by clicking the shapefile on the layers pane. Click the pencil to start an editing session. Click the add line feature icon. In the map, click the vertices of the line feature. Right click when you are done adding the feature to close that line. Directionality of where you click the line does matter. The first click where the line starts will be station 0. Typically, we set station 0 to be river left start point of the alignment for cross sections. Name the alignment by typing in the name box of the Feature Attributes window. Click OK when you are finished editing the attributes. To run Station Offset tool, close and save the editing session for the shapefile. In the Processing Toolbox pane, navigate to Tailwater Limited, click Stream Tools, click Station Offset. This will open the Station Offset dialog box. Select the appropriate shapefile representing the alignments. Select the field in the shapefile signifying the name of the alignment. Select the appropriate field for each of the attribute dropdowns. Now you can define an offset for how far from the alignment the tool will look for points. Click the ellipsis to the right of the output file name box to save the file. Click Run to process the data. Navigate to the file you just saved. To open the file in a spreadsheet type program such as Excel. From the spreadsheet you can sort the data for use. Start by sorting the alignment name if you have more than one. For this example, we only have one polyline. The program will process data for as many polylines as you have shown. The program will project all the points for all the lines within the offset length. Now you can sort the data by offset, removing any points that are outside the intended offset. You can also sort by description, removing any points you do not want in your analysis. with the remaining points sort by station. Now you can view the data in a chart. Display the station, x-axis, and elevation in the y-axis. If you found this video useful or would like to see more from us, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. If you have questions or suggestions for additional utilities, please comment below. Thank you.